Along with Lava, Jano Kenneth Wong. Kanya. Greetings, everyone. This is Kenneth Wong, a Burmese language teacher, blogger, translator, and the author of Easy Burmese and Survival Burmese, both from Tuttle Publishing. Glad to have you along for another lesson. In this video, I'll teach you how to say as soon as in Burmese. Take a look at the title of this YouTube video. This is an interview with an up-and-coming comedian called Pew Pew Tui, a funny, spunky girl who appears in lots of magazine covers and commercials. The first half of the title reads, Yang Gong Sa Yao Yao Chen Dong Ga. Yang Gong Sa Yao Yao Chen Dong Ga. Let's break it down. Yang Gong is the name of the city. Sa is to begin. Yao is the verb to arrive. Sa Yao as a compound verb should be interpreted as to arrive for the first time. So this is how I might say, when I first arrive in San Francisco, San Francisco sa yao yao chen dong ga. So why is the verb yao doubled up? Why is it written yao yao chen? Well, that's one way to say as soon as, as soon as she arrived. She's talking about something that happened to her as soon as she first arrived in Yango. The last part, dong ga, put this event in the distant past. Because this is marked with Donga, we know this is not about what Piputue wants to do when she arrives in Yangon tomorrow or next week or next month. This is what she did as soon as she first arrived in Yangon, sometime in the distant past. This is a travel record by a blogger named Ee Dior writing about her trip Airbnb experience in Iceland. She wrote Ido Iceland Yao Yao Chen Yama. One more time. Ido Iceland Yao Yao Chen Yama. Ido is where she uses her name I as a substitute for I. This is followed by the plural marker Do. In essence, this is we. It means I and the other people with I. In other words, she's talking about she and some other people who traveled with her. Iceland Yao Yao Chen. As soon as we arrived, Iceland. Or on arrival in Iceland. Nyama at night. Literally, it translates to on the night as soon as we arrived in Iceland. But in more natural English, one might say on the night we first arrived in Iceland. Suppose you want to talk about what you did as soon as you arrived in Yangon. You can start the same way the story about Piu Piu Tui did. You start with Yangon Yao Yao Chen. Yangon Yao Yao Chen. The basic structure is verb repeated followed by Chen, also pronounced Jin. So verb and verb plus chin or jin. As soon as I arrived in Yangon or on my arrival in Yangon. For example, if you went to Shwedagong Bagoda as soon as you arrived, you could say Yangon Yao Yao Chin Shwedagong Paya Tware. Yangon Yao Yao Chin Shwedagong Paya Tware. Or if you happen to call your friend once you arrived in Yangon, you'd say Yangon Yao Yao Chin Tange Jingo Fong Sete. Yangon Yao Yao Chin Tange Jingo Fong sete. You could add chano for I if you are a man or chama for I if you are a woman. But it can also be implied if the context makes it clear you're talking about yourself. But what if you want to talk about what you plan to do once you arrive in Yangon tomorrow or next week or next month? Something that hasn't happened yet because you haven't gone to Yangon yet. In other words, what if you want to use this form to talk about something in the future? Really very simple. The first part doesn't change at all. If you want to say, I'll go to Shwedagong Bogoda once I get to Yangon or arrive in Yangon in the future, you say, Yangon Yao Yao Chen, Shwedagong Paya Thwame. Yangon Yao Yao Chen, Shwedagong Paya Thwame. And if you want to say, as soon as I get to Yangon, I'll call my friend, you say, Yangon Yao Yao Chen, Tange Jingo, Fong Seme. Yangon Yao Yao Chen, Tange Jingo, Fong Seme. What changed is the way you end your sentence with me instead of te or de. Me is your future sentence end. On the other hand, te or de is your sentence end for past events. Let's take another example. I'd like to say, as soon as I began taking shower, the phone rang. Something that happens often, I'm afraid. I began taking shower is, in Burmese, chano ye sa chore, if you are a man, chama ye sa chore if you happen to be a woman. The Burmese verb to shower or take a bath has two parts, you might notice. Ye cho is a compound verb made up of the noun ye, 
for water and chore to rinse with something or to pour something onto yourself. Think of it like saying to rinse yourself with water or to wash yourself with water. So if you want to add the prefix sa to begin doing something, it has to go before the actual verb, which is cho, the pour or rinse part. This is the reason when you negate that verb, you say ye ma cho, not ma ye cho. I hope that's clear. Back to the main point of the lesson. If you want to convert this into the as soon as form, as soon as I began taking shower or as soon as I began rinsing myself with water, you say You double up the verb cho followed by jin. I'd say because I'm a man. If you're a woman, you'd say Then you continue with phone la de. A phone call came. So I'll say the whole thing now. What if you want to tell someone as soon as you are done with work, please come straight home? To finish work is a lok bibi. A lok is the noun for work or job. B is your operative verb here. It means to finish, to complete. So if you want to say as soon as you finish work, you'd say a lok bibi jin. A lok bibi jin. You double up the verb bi, then cap it up with jin. Then you can follow it up with ain dam pian la ba. Ain dam pian la ba. Ain is home or house. Dan is straight, as in don't stop anywhere midway, go straight to the destination. Pian la is to come back, to return. Put it all together. A lok bibi jin, ain dam pian la ba. As soon as you finish work, or as soon as you get off work, Come straight home. It ends with ba or ba because this is a command, not a statement. How about saying as soon as I got to the pagoda, it started to rain. The first part should be easy because you know all the words you need just in this lesson. You'd say, That's if you're a male. If you're a woman, you'd say, Then you can finish it up with mo sa juare. Mo sa yuare. So the whole thing now, chano paya yao yao chen, mo sa yuare. Mo yuare is a compound verb to rain, but just like the verb to shower, it is a two part compound verb made up of mo, the noun rain, and yuare, to pour down or to come down. The verb to rain in Burmese is quite literally the rain comes down. So the prefix sa, to indicate something begin happening, goes before the actual verb yuare, to come down. To pour. There is another way to say as soon as. Some might find that form easier or more preferable, so let me show that to you. To say as soon as I get to the pagoda, you can say That's the double verb and chin or chin structure. The other way is to say That's verb followed by the jiran maker da or da followed by ne. Verb followed by dane or dane. To say as soon as you finish work, you can say a lok bibi jin. You can also say a lok bidane. A lok bidane. To say as soon as I begin taking shower or taking a bath, you can say ye sa cho cho jin. You can also say ye sa cho dane. In meaning, the two forms are identical. But grammatically, they function slightly differently. The double verb chi or jin form can be used to modify something else, a noun. You might remember the blogger Ee Dior wrote, Iceland yao yao chen nya. Iceland yao yao chen nya. In that usage, the clause Iceland yao yao chen becomes a modifier for the noun that follows, nya, night making it the night we first arrive in Iceland or the night of our first arrival in Iceland. In this article about the reopening of Wuhan after the first shutdown, the title reads, Pian le puen puen jim, batama ye. Pian le puen puen jim, batama ye. Pian le puen is the verb to reopen. This is the double verb form followed by chin or jim, making it as soon as it reopens. Batama ye. Is the first day. So the clause pian le puen puen jin, as soon as it reopens, is the modifier clause that modifies the noun, the first day. 
the whole thing should be treated as the first day the city reopens. But if you are using the other alternative form, if you are saying Iceland Yautane or Pianle Puendane, you cannot use that to modify a noun that follows. That form doesn't work as a modifier clause. It's quite late here in California now, so as soon as this video finishes, finish rendering that is, I will go to bed. So D video pirane Jano Eya Weme D video pirane Jano Eya Weme. Eya is bed. We is to enter. Yes, in Burmese, to go to bed, you actually say to enter to your place of sleep. As soon as I finish rendering this video, I'll go to bed. In this fall, I'll begin teaching intermediate Burmese at UC Berkeley. With COVID-19 situation still presenting a challenge for in-class teaching, this will be a Zoom-based class. The class is also available to UCLA students as a distance learning course. So if you're studying at either UC Berkeley or UCLA campus and you like to learn Burmese in a virtual group setting formally, I hope to see you there. Until next time, now my women. See you later. This is Kenneth Wong over and out.